Welcome to day 47 of cognitive drawing. So we're going to just do a cognitive drawing of the hand right here. And as you can tell, this is my hand. So I tried to get all the different main critical poses. And so what we're going to do is just try to draw this from memory right here. Okay, first of all, let me just look at this. So we have the hands, the hand kind of curled. So kind of a total relaxed pose. Okay, so let's see. Here's our knuckles, so we know that and then they're kind of bent. I'm just going to kind of do this how I think. Of course, I mean this is what this is what cognitive drawing is, doing it as good as we can to the best of our abilities. So don't look at your hands while you're drawing this. <laughs> and I can't look at my hand because it's my hand that I'm using for reference. How do we do? That did pretty good. My thumb's not quite as long as it is here. Yeah, a lot of this stuff turned out all right. Not bad. Okay, so I'm going to just draw this now while looking at this. So this line goes straight to that line pretty much. Boom, and it just turns into that knuckle. Oh wait, no, we're actually looking at the wrong knuckle. Just do that again. Come straight up. And becomes part of that knuckle. That's cool. And then let's see, these hands, these knuckles, these fingers kind of come almost straight out. I'm going to just kind of draw the, the edges of the knuckles here so I kind of know. We could have a whole book just on hands drawing hands because there's so much to hands let's cool that shape it goes in at the knuckle and then out in it in again and then the fingernail Look at that, I made that thumb, actually I made the fingers too short. Not the thumb, I started making those fingers too short already. Well, I know that these are getting shorter, but I'm going to just leave them. Okay. So that's what I have based on the reference. Looks, looks better. Now I'm just going to cover up the top. We'll try to do this again from memory. Well, and I don't have my, don't have my little uh, knuckle lines there anymore. There was like a line here, and it went in, thumb, knuckle, knuckle, thumbnail, remember, that was kind of cool, and this bulge, we have, I don't know exactly where these knuckles were, but I'm going to kind of put them there, since this is the first time we actually had to draw them from memory. And 
Oops. Remember, our line doesn't come, come all the way up there in between the knuckles. <laughs> I mean, you can extend, you can have these lines come down there, but that skin stops there. Well, how do we do? Definitely closer, closer to that uh, top drawing there. The hand position's a little funny. I'm a little, it's a little skinnier on mine than up here. There's, I've kind of made this a little bit smaller there. So we'll try to do this last one from reference. Try to get those those proportions a little better. This hand could pass, you know, because again, everyone's hands are different but we're going to just try to match these proportions a little bit more. This came a little bit more down. I like those shapes. I'm going to just go with this outline first. Kind of like how we've done with other things where we focus on the outline, get that nice, and then we can get in the details. Well, that fingers should be in further. I'm just going to leave it though, because again, let's get these knuckles in there. Make sure that that knuckle's a little bit more. I'm looking at that one. I just need to stop. line there. And then We're just kind of, it's kind of weird to, it's kind of weird to be focusing on details as you go around the, you know, and do the, the outline first. You know, usually I, I do a hand structure, you know, and I kind of just, I kind of just draw in the fingers real quick and the thumbs real quick. And, and then I go in and, and add those details. So it is a little bit backwards the way we were doing it here. You know, the hand's pretty messed up too. But um, but yeah, it still worked out. We, we still focused on a lot of these details and I feel like we still got pretty close. Even though I just kind of went around the outline first, that was interesting. So anyway, we have a lot more hands to do so we will try it some different ways uh, tomorrow. Um, hopefully you enjoy this and you got a little bit out of this hand sketch and we'll see you tomorrow.